good rainy morning Mets fans and welcome to an AM edition of driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met and uh, I'm coming at you in the morning because we had our first night game of the season last night uh, and of course in true Mets fashion they gave us some bonus baseball with extra innings. Unfortunately it was not a fun game to watch, not much offense to speak of. Um, the pitching was fantastic for the second consecutive game. Uh, Jacob deGrom was terrific in, uh, in his role, but uh, the bats, not so much. Not much offense to speak of last night. Jay Bruce um, hit the first Mets home run of the season. Uh, he had a good night at the plate. He was 3-for-5. Um, his home run accounted for the only run of the game for the Mets. Um, so it was nice. To, it's nice to see uh, Jay Bruce starting out the season hitting, because he did end last season hitting. His last eight or nine games were, were really strong. So it'd be nice to see um, Bruce and Duda kind of get on the same wavelength. So that since they're both very streaky players, that one one of them is up, the other one's down, and they can sort of counterbalance themselves. Um, from a uh, from a pitching standpoint, as I said, Degrom was terrific. Um, between he and Syndergaard, uh, 12 innings pitched, seven hits, 13 strikeouts, no uh, one walk, no runs allowed, no wins. And that is an, an epidemic in baseball. Um, the, the, the win has become such an unimportant statistic for pitchers because it's, it's so reliant on a bullpen and a team behind you um, either getting you a lead or maintaining that lead after you've come out, come out of the game in the fifth or sixth inning. Um, uh, DeGrom was at 95 pitches after six. I didn't realize he had thrown that many pitches to get to that point. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. He had to come out of the game. I can't fault Terry for pulling him. Um, the goat of the game, though, goes to Hansel Robles, who... And this is not the greatest of all time either. This is the GOAT, uh, as Keith would use the term. Um, Hansel Robles had a miserable night. Um, he, he couldn't find the plate. He hit batters. He was just, he was throwing. He wasn't pitching. And it was evident that he was throwing and not pitching. And, you know, the best, op the, the best evidence of that for me is um, Robles is in there gunning the ball as hard as he can, uh, leaving balls over, over the plate, no movement, just trying to throw it past everybody and he's throwing in the mid-90s. He's relieved by Jerry Blevins, who tops out at like 88, and he ends up throwing an 88-mile-an-hour fastball with a little bit of rise on it and uh, strikes out, um, basically mops up um, Blev um, Blevins, uh, Robles' mess. So uh, the final score last night was 3-1. to one. Um, Again, not a whole lot to talk about. Uh, today, hopefully, is a different day, and hopefully it's a happy day because today is the first Harvey day since July of 2016. Matt Harvey takes the mound tonight against Jaime Garcia. Uh, I think we're all gonna be watching with bated breath, um, hoping that everything's okay for Harvey and that uh, he's able to at least round back into uh, close to the form that he found in his wonderful 2015 season. So that's the, uh, that's the gist of today's show, uh, reviewing last night's game. I'll come back tomorrow morning to talk about what will hopefully be the second Mets victory of the season, getting off to a positive start with the opening series. So until that time, thanks for watching this video, and as always, let's go Mets.